you guys. Um, oh, I finally got some ducks coming in, of course. Right when I start vlogging. <laughs> okay, pause this. Sorry about that, I'm back. I had some ducks come through and uh, I wanted to get some video of them. I apologize if my voice is a little bit shaky. I am shivering so bad. <laughs> it is so cold. Um, I'm out in my floating blind again, sitting in the middle of a river and uh, we're in the middle of winter here and it is cold. Uh, the reason I'm out here is we had snow on the forecast this morning and I thought it would be just absolutely beautiful if I could get some pictures of these ducks with the snow falling and maybe some video and stuff of that. So uh, we'll see what we get. It hasn't started yet. Snow was supposed to start about two hours ago and it, it hasn't started yet. So I'm starting to get a little worried, but it's still early and we got some time. So uh, let's just be a little bit more patient. some uh, snowflakes starting to come down not many just just a few but uh you know it's just absolutely beautiful setting and i've got some widgeons up here coming my way i don't see those a lot on this river so i am absolutely excited to uh, see those this morning just gorgeous gorgeous birds let's see what we can get Was awesome those widgeons came right by they got so close I couldn't even focus on them for a minute there the uh, the snows already stopped and now I've just got this thick overcast layer of clouds 
so the light's pretty awful, so I'm just focusing on video this morning. I got a few pictures of those widgeons, and it was good, but uh, my ISO was was higher than I like it to be. But uh, you know, that was still awesome. You know, these blinds are awesome. I love using this floating blind. I've done multiple videos with it now, and it's always just so much fun to get out in them. Uh, one thing that I've learned in my time using them is that there are certain species of birds that are more apprehensive towards it than others. And in this area, it's always the mallards. And I don't know if that's because they're hunted so much that they just, they're more wary and they associate these more with people. I don't know what it is. But uh, one thing that I've learned that helps a lot is if I can set this up in an area where there's a lot of coots, it helps the other birds become much more comfortable. The coots will swim by this thing. They couldn't care less. They'll swim within a foot of this blind and they don't care at all. And when the other birds, especially the apprehensive ones, see that, they become much more comfortable and they'll come right on by along with the coots. And it seems to help a lot. So if you're using one of these blinds and you notice that uh, the birds are a little bit apprehensive towards it at first, find a species that isn't and make sure you're setting it up where there's a lot of those types of birds and the other birds seem to become much more comfortable with it. At least that's been my experience. All right guys, I'm gonna call it a morning. It is so cold. <laughs> I've been in this blind for about four and a half hours now and it is just, it is bitterly cold this morning. Um, I see couple coots down here but they're not even coming in my direction other than that I I just don't see anything out here it's so quiet this morning the snow stopped it lasted for maybe like two minutes and now it's just incredibly overcast and this light is so hard to work with even with video it's just tricky so I think I'm gonna call it a day and what I'm thinking I'll do is probably come back in either tomorrow morning or the next morning. Uh, there's no more snow on the forecast, unfortunately, but I should have some really pretty morning light to work with the next couple days. So uh, I think that's that's my plan for now. But uh, yeah, right now I'm gonna head back in while there's no birds around, I don't wanna scare them. I'm gonna get out and uh, thaw myself out and get all warmed up and then I'll be right back in here. In the next couple days so uh, yeah that's the plan we'll see ya Hey guys, back in the blind, and it is even colder this morning than it was yesterday. Uh, it's 18 degrees right now, and I am so cold. <laughs> I've got some amazing morning light right now though. I just need some birds. <laughs> now, I've, had, I've had a few ducks come through. Um, and I've got that widgeon again off in the distance. He hasn't come this way yet. I'm really, really hoping he does because they are so pretty. Um, but yeah, I've seen some, a bunch of mallards in the area and there was a golden eye hanging around. I'm in a good spot right now. I'm right on a curve of the river and the ducks 
they uh, swim through this area a lot, so I'm able to get head-on shots of them coming from both directions if I just turn the blind a little bit. So this is a really good spot. And uh, like I say, I've just got beautiful light, so I'm just gonna hang here and uh, hope that these guys wake up here shortly and start coming through. I think uh, it's just so cold, they're all just still hauled up on land trying to insulate or whatever. Because yeah, it's cold. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, there's just, there's not a whole lot happening out here. I think it's so cold that the birds are just hauled up on a bank somewhere sunbathing right now. Because it is, it's just so cold. <laughs> and uh, I'm at the point where I'm pretty much just numb all over. And I don't know if that's the healthiest thing, so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna head in for the day. With how slow it's been today though, I've I've still had some awesome opportunities. This light was just amazing and I had some ducks come through this morning and it was so pretty. There's not a whole lot of action going on. There's no flying or, you know, flapping or anything like that. So I just focused more on uh, portraits and stuff like that this morning with the beautiful color reflection that I had and it was just fantastic. Well, let's head in and uh, get warmed up a little bit. That's assuming I can even get out of this blind and, and walk. <laughs> because my legs are so cold. <laughs> but uh, you know what, it's just been fun. I love stuff like this. People may think I'm crazy. Uh, that's probably what you're thinking right now. I don't know, but uh, you know, I've gotten some, some fun shots this morning and I'm really happy with it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Is this just dedication to photography or is it insanity at this point, sitting in a river for four hours, two days in a row? 18 degree temperatures. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Am I just crazy or uh, is it dedication? <laughs> you know, on that note of crazy things that we do for pictures, I want to hear something that you've done that's a little absurd in order to get a picture. Let me know down in the comments. I love to hear stories like this. It's just so funny hearing what some people do to get pictures. So uh, let me know. Can't even talk. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear. Thanks for following along this week, you guys. Have a, uh, have a fun week, and we'll see you next time. out they uh they've lost all sensation